Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your favorite musician, Judah. That's probably not true, but it's okay. It's true in my head. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to discuss my new music video, Corpse Caller, and just the message and just everything that I put into this music video specifically. Um, I'm not going to talk about the lyrics that much. I want to make a separate video where I sing the lyrics for you guys and explain them thoroughly. Um, for this video, I just want to talk about the actual, like, music video. And by the way, I do everything myself. I think it's pretty obvious because I don't have the most HD amazing quality of music video. But I think I do a pretty damn good job for the circumstances and for somebody who's inexperienced and learning everything as they go. But yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to insert clips or not. I probably will just so it's more understandable for people that are watching right now. Um, but the first thing that's going on is the background where it's bright red and my face is kind of shifting out and back. There's like two of me and they're both transparent. Um, I didn't really put much thought into this. This was kind of just for aesthetic purposes and just to make the intro interesting and captivating. And I kind of made an old TV look because I just like that look and I think it fit the audio in this specific part that sounds very muffled and distorted. And at the top left corner, there is a thing that says his patience. That's basically representing my patience as somebody in a dying friendship, which is what the song is about. It's about a one-sided friendship, which I'll explain in another video for the lyrics. And basically that's my patience slowly going down and basically that timer keeps going on until the part of the song where it just it's super distorted and rock industrial sound that's just like da -da 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 -da, like boom 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 like all over the place like when the song gets crazy the timer stops because that's me that's the part where i lose my patience for this person so yeah that timer is going throughout the entire video and let's see what happens next Somebody was asking what the chimpanzee sound was for, or the chimp sound, I don't, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just thought that, I, there is a little clip that I had on my computer of a chimpanzee screaming, and I decided to alter it and add it to the song, because I just, I don't know, I just wanted to put a chimpanzee screaming, and I don't know why it's there, I don't know the purpose, I don't know if it's something deeper, like, I don't know much about the species of animal, but I just like how it sounded, so I just added it. And you'll hear it throughout the song, the intro, and the second part of the song. This song has like four different parts. <laughs> okay, so the first clip after the intro is actually just like, a, it's introducing me basically, and it's like a victim of ghosting, aka a fucking, like a freaking idiot. And that's supposed to be me. Um, I personally saw myself as an idiot for a while for dealing with such terrible friends who didn't respect my boundaries and didn't actually care about me and kind of made me feel like I was alive while they were just ghosts or people in the grave already because they were so quiet or because they were so... They just lacked compassion and care and mutuality. I think that's a word in the friendship. And then before that there was this flashing clip of, by the way there's like a lot of flashing, if you can't take that, um, don't watch the music video. Um, but there's this little flashing clip of me with a noose around that's kind of like a necklace, and then I have a bible on the side. I will get to that later, um, let's keep going. There's a part where I smile really creepy and then it gets dark and there's like a red face, I just did that. Also for aesthetic purposes and because I just, I wanted to scare somebody. <laughs> I've done that before. Okay, the next clip, uh, the part two of the song where it sounds like a phone call with the chimpanzee screaming the most. Um, before that, or during this part, there is me with like pink tears and like my entire face is like kind of painted with pink eyeshadow with a white cross. I'm basically supposed to look like a banshee, which is Irish, Irish, Irish mythology, where basically a banshee is a creature, a fairy with white hair who cries all the time, who cries in front of your house to warn you about death, 
or they'll scream someone's name who is in danger and is gonna die the next day. And so the, in, the how this character is introduced is the Banshee of Conscious Dot. Um, basically, this this person with the white hair is my conscious. And I think it looks scary. I think I'm creeped out by it. I don't want to listen to it because, oh, like, what what do they know? It's just a creepy monster. Like, oh, it's just me being negative. I'm not going to listen to it telling me to get out of this friendship or to shut up or to just leave. Like, because what does it know, you know? That was my thought process. And then there's a part. So, okay, I'm, I'm in the white wig and I'm like, wake up, sleepyhead. And then the part after that is me with the red and black hair again. And I'm kind of just blinking like this. That's to represent me, like, this is just literally my response to the Banshee trying to warn me about something. My conscious trying to warn me about something. It's me just going, okay, I'm not gonna, like, kind of like just blinking, like, okay, they didn't say anything. I didn't hear anything. Or like, what do you mean? Like, kind of just like, I don't care. And the things that the Banshee are saying in the video are actually can go both ways. It can go to the person that is in my friendship that is being a jerk, and it could actually be the conscious talking to me as well. So for example, wake up sleepyhead, I won't allow you to lay dead like this. Um, that could be my conscious telling me to wake up and realize that my friendship is bad, and that I'm the only one maintaining it, and that it doesn't want me to just be basically dead trying to revive this friendship, and just slowly killing myself from just trying to be the emotional support of the entire relationship. And it can also go to me calling my friend who's ghosting me. And then we get to seeing the part again with the noose and the Bible. And basically I'm just kind of like, just losing my mind with the Bible in one hand and like the noose in another. Um, the noose thing was actually something I kind of drew a lot. When I was 15, I would draw it as a necklace to represent depression. And basically what's going on is um, I'm battling between my identity and um, just the conservative Christian value that was pressured onto me. And like just I had a lot of friends, a lot of these friends that are referenced in the song as well, that would just use the Bible against me and it made me want to essentially off myself. And not just that, but it also made me very depressed and struggle between my faith and my identity because I felt like my identity was affecting and ruining my faith. And I didn't realize that I could have both. So that's what that imagery represents. Okay, so the third part of the song is denial. Um, and yeah, these parts are pretty self-explanatory, so I think I'll put my phone down. The third part of the song is the denial part, where it sounds like a phone dialing and it's very echoey and reverbed and there's breathing in the background um, and basically the doctor could be my conscious telling me things again and it's going your sickly friend is very ill won't you just give up and just find a different friend or just heal yourself like become a better person without this person affecting that and then I'm in denial like oh they're not dead they're just they're just hurt or they're just going through a lot or they're just blah 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 like the excuses we make for people while my conscious is like, girl, like, give the fuck up, like, just stop, stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that part's just basically denial, and then right after that, it goes straight into this industrial, distorted, crazy drum percussion sound. Um, that's basically just me losing my mind and me finally just breaking into like a billion different emotions. The timer goes off on that part, you don't see it anymore. And I'm, it's just flashing and like red and black lights everywhere. And then like, I'm just losing my mind. That's literally it. And realizing what I've been doing to myself and the time that I wasted. But yeah, <laughs> that's basically the whole explanation of the entire music video. Um, again, I kind of just freestyled this video, so I'm probably going to edit out a lot of parts that are excessive. But I hope you guys enjoyed that explanation about the video. Uh, if you notice any more Easter eggs that, or any more spiritual things that I didn't notice personally, please let me know in the comments below or on Instagram. You can message me. I'll have everything linked below. And listen to the song and watch the actual music video, which will be at the end of this video. 
Um, and also in the bio for my Spotify and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys like that explanation. I hope somebody resonates with this video and this song and can deeply relate to it. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. We will talk about the lyrics and even the production in the next video um, where I'll be singing it for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.